of this black America? This is a question you have to ask and answer at some point. Did the Honorable Elijah Muhammad meet with God? We don't have to figure that out right now if you don't want to. But at some point, at some point, real soon, black America has to come to that conclusion. Did he meet with the Lord of all the worlds? Was he taught directly by the Lord of all the worlds? Now, if he wasn't, then you can dismiss what he said. But if he was, and he was, then everything he taught is teaching and is foretelling of things to come will come to pass. And that's what black America has to figure out because you're too hesitant. You know, there's a scripture in the Holy Quran, the servant of God, the man of God, is called a light-giving son. And you know, in the very introduction of message to the black man, in the preface, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad writes these words, as we near the exhaustion of the wisdom of this world, which has not been able to shed enough light on our path in search for that supreme wisdom to keep us from stumbling and falling, we now seek the wisdom of Allah, the best knower and guide in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever. The reader will find that light in this book. He's not guessing about it. He knows exactly who he is, and he knows exactly who he represents. The Holy Quran says in Surah 91, by the sun and his brightness, and by the moon when she borrows light from him. Here's a man who represents sunlight. Like Jesus, I am the light of the world. This man represents sunlight. Come on, come on. Moonlight is not really light from the moon, but the moon light that you see is reflected light. It has no light of its own. It reflects the light of the sun during a time of darkness. But here you got moon borrowing light from the sun. And whether you know it or not, black America has borrowed a lot of light from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The only problem is you didn't give him credit for it. That's disrespectful. We weren't calling each other brother and sister before the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came among us? Brother, you ain't none of my brother. You know how Negroes talk. But he said, I will not rest until I get all of my people to refer to each other as brothers and sisters. This was in the 50s. He didn't call us Negroes. He says so-called Negroes. Big difference. That's what you call yourself because that's what the enemy calls you.